everyone, iOS 18.3 is the latest and greatest generation of software that Apple has just released. But as of this point, we're kind of stuck in this situation where this particular device's software is in this, you know, very familiar spot. So when iOS 18 originally came out, one of the biggest improvements and one of the coolest things going on for this particular phone at that moment was Apple Intelligence. It was this really cool AI feature. It was a really cool thing. And I'm sure a lot of people you know, of you know about it. But guess what? Apple has gone through and done something very, very weird within iOS 18.3. Apple has basically gone through and they essentially have auto enabled Apple intelligence for every single iPhone when you're updating to iOS 18.3. Now, in theory, that may not be like, no, that, that may not seem like that big of a deal or anything like that. But here's the problem with Apple intelligence. When you enable it, it takes up so much more storage within your device than if you didn't have it enabled in the first place. So you may have just actually updated your iPhone, you may have upgraded your software, and you might have seen that, you know, why did my phone just almost run out of storage? Or why do I have way less storage in my device than before? So what I would recommend doing for you right now is to go inside of your iPhone settings. So hop inside of your general settings in your iPhone, go inside of iPhone storage, and you just want to see if your device and just basically just look at your particular, you know, storage inside of that device. See how much storage is being taken up. And if you're almost running out of storage or if you're having issues with storage, you might want to just double check and make sure that your Apple intelligence isn't actually enabled. So what I'd probably recommend doing in that particular situation is to go through, basically double check your particular, you know, your Apple intelligence, make sure it's enabled or disabled. And then you be basically, you can go on from there. But the last thing you want to do is to just forget that you even haven't enabled. And if you're ever running into a situation where you're running out of, you know, storage or where you're running out of software, well, then you might have to go through in the future and basically just, you know, disable this and you'll be able to get some storage back. But that is kind of an interesting thing, considering that Apple intelligence still has a lot of work to do, you know, to basically have be done with it. It has a lot of improvements to still be made with it and everything like that. So we're still going to have to kind of wait and see what happens there. There's also still a lot of improvements that iOS 18.3 has to bring because a lot of people are having issues and problems still. And I'm going to make separate videos talking about those particular problems. But as of right now, just be you know wary of your Apple intelligence and just make sure that if you have it enabled or disabled, that you've purposely done that. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.